Call Apollo 11, Houston. A real good picture we're getting here. The Commander Armstrong. The most important part of the flight was the landing because it had not been done before. My gut feeling was that we had only a 50-50 chance of being successful. Neil, how does it look? Looking good. Neil, the land wing. Okay, all flight controllers, go, no, go for landing. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Patrol. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Ecom. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Eagle, Houston, you're go for landing. Over. I do understand. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. Eagle, Houston, we'll monitor That's your Delta A. Things look real close. As we got closer, I could that this automatic pilot was taking us into an uh, area with a very large crater and big boulder. Four forward, drift into the right level. Was not the place where I wanted to be landing. I took it over and tried to find some area that wasn't dangerous. So he's in there flying the machine in ways that they really didn't expect him to. 30 seconds forward. And they used more fuel than they thought. I knew we were getting short. We had to get it on the ground. Shot alarm. And then there were these computer alarms that went off. Shot alarm. Computers were getting overloaded. Roger, 1201 alarm. Same time. And I was listening to the ground. 1201. But when you get that close, go in and hit. Looked like the best thing to me. 1201. Roger, 1201 alarm. alarm. Same time, we're go, flight. OK, we're go. We're go, same time, we're go. They finally get the word. Right on, real good. And somehow he has to fly this thing down. 30 feet, two and a half down, picking up the dust. The dust just cured the surface almost completely. But even if I ran out of fuel, well, I thought I'd be all right. 